let's solve some problems here which fraction comes next in the following sequence one third six over ten fifteen over twenty one 28 over 36, 45 over 55, and 66 over 78. Now to find the next number, the next fraction, we just have to reduce the fractions first. Okay, so that would be one third. We cannot further reduce one third anymore. So 6 over 10, um, both 6 and 10 are divisible by 2. So we divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. So this would be equal to 3 over 5. And then 15 over 21 is divisible by 3. So we divide both 15 and 21 by 3. So we get 5 over 7. And then 28 and 36 are divisible by 4. So that is 7 over 9, and then 45 over 55, divisible by 5. So this is 9 over 11, and then 66 over 78, divisible by 6. So this is 11 over 13, and we don't know what the next fraction is. So have you noticed that the pattern here, 1 third divisible by 1, this one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means the next fraction should be divisible by 7. And have you noticed that the numerators, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11, they are all odd numbers, and the sequence starts with odd number 1, while the denominators 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 are also odd numbers, but the sequence starts with odd number 3. So that means the next number for the numerator should be 13. That would be the next um, odd number. And then for the denominator, the next odd number would be 15. So the next fraction here is just 13 over 15. But we don't have 13 over 15 here in our choices. And we only reduced the original fractions, this one to this one. So since the next um, fraction is divisible by 7, so we just have to multiply 13 um, over 15 by 7, both the numerator and denominator. Therefore, this is just equal to 91 over 105. So the next fraction is 91 over 105. The answer here is letter B. Sam's age is found by subtracting 7 from twice 21, then adding 11 followed by dividing by 2. How old is Sam? Since Sam's age is unknown, so we let x be Sam's age. So let's write a mathematical each of the mathematical sentence here into a mathematical equation. So Sam, Sam's age is found by subtracting, subtracting 7 from twice 21. So Sam's age, which is x, is, okay, that is equal, subtracting 7 from twice 21. So twice 21 is 21 uh, times 2, times 2 subtracting from so that is minus 7 so we have already written this mathematical sentence here into a mathematical um, equation which is this one so this is just equal to 42 
minus 7, and this is equal to 35. And then adding 11. So we just add 11 to 35. So this is just equal to 46. And then followed by dividing by 2. So we divide 46 by 2. So this is just equal to 23. Therefore, Sam's age is just 23. The answer is letter D. Two stores are selling inline skater skates. Store A has a price of $149.95 with a 15% discount. Store B offers a 10% discount on a price of $139.95. What is the difference in sale price between the two stores? So let's um, interpret each of the data in this problem. Um, let's dissect this. So store A. Okay. okay. It says here store A has a price. So store A's price is $149.95 with a 15% discount. So that is $149. Point ninety five dollars minus fifteen percent of um, one hundred forty nine point ninety five. So we can write fifteen percent as just point fifteen. We have to divide fifteen percent by one hundred percent times one hundred forty nine point ninety five dollars. So this is just equal to. 149.95 minus 22.49. So store A's price after the 15% discount is just equal to $127.46. And now let's calculate store B's price. Okay, store B's price. So store B here offers a 10% discount on a price of $139.95. So that would be $139.95 minus 10%. So that is 0 0.10 times $139.95. So this is just 139.95 okay. minus $13.99. So store B's price is just equal to $125.96. So now we already have the prices for both of the stores the question here is what is the difference in sale price between the two stores so that means we just have to subtract the prices of the two stores okay so that would be uh, store A's price minus store B's um, price so the difference in price, this is just equal to $127.46 minus $125.96. And this is just equal to $1.5 or $1.50. So the answer here is letter C. 3 centimeters wide, 2 centimeters deep, and 4 centimeters high. If each side is doubled in length, what would be the total surface area of the bigger box? So the original box, 
measures 3 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So the 3 here is the width, the 2 is the height, and the 4 centimeters is the length. It says here if each side is doubled in length, so the bigger box measures 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters by 8 centimeters. And now to solve for the total surface area of the bigger box, that would just be equal to 2 times the length and width plus 2 times the length and height plus 2 times the width and height. And now we can just plug in all the values given. So the surface, surface area is just equal to 2 times the length, 4, I uh, know, 8, because this is for the bigger box. 8 times 6 plus 2 times 4 times 8 plus 2 times 6 times 4. So this is just equal to, so this is just 2 times 48 plus 2 times 32 plus 2 times 24. So this is 96 plus 64 plus 48. So the total surface area of the bigger box is just equal to 208 cubic centimeters. So the answer here is letter B. Calculate 0.75 divided by 3 fourth minus 0.75 divided by 3 eight plus 0 0.375 divided by 3 8 minus 0 0.0625 divided by 1 8. So how are we going to do this? Let's recall the order of operations or PEMDAS. We only have two operations here. No, three operator signs here. Division, subtraction, and addition. So we start with division first. So we can divide them into groups. We can group this one, this one, and this one. So we perform the operation first. Or you can also group them in parentheses so you won't be confused. So we calculate 0 0.75 divided by um, 3 fourth first minus this one 0.75 over 38 divided by 38 plus 0.375 divided by 38 minus 0 0.0625 divided by 1.8 so we can write all the decimal um, numbers here into a fraction. So we can write 0 0.75 as 75 over 100, that is divided by 3 fourths, minus 75 over 100 over 3 eight, plus 37.5 over 100 divided by 3 eight, minus 6.25 over 100 divided by 1 8. And now it will be easier for you to calculate everything. And now we can write this as uh, 75 over 100 times 4 over 3 minus 75 over 100 times 8 over 3. I'm just trying to dis dissect everything. So those who, for those who need um, a detailed explanation. 
or the step-by-step -step solution to the problem. So this is 37.5 over 100 times 8 over 3 minus 6.25 over 100 times 8 over 1. So 75 is divisible by 3, so this is just 25. And then 100 is divisible by 4, so this is just 25. Okay, minus, so this one is also 25, so this is 25. This is 4 and 50, so times 4 over 50. Okay, 25 over 25 is just equal to 1. Okay, and 25 and 50. 50 is divisible by 25, so this is just 2. And 4 over 2 is just equal to 2. So this is 1 minus 2. And then this one is 50, and this is 4. And we can further reduce. This is 25, this is 2. So we have 37.5 times 2 over 25 times 3. And this is just equal to 6.25, no, minus, minus 6.25 times 2 over 25. And this one here is just equal to 1, so that is plus 1. And this one is just equal to 0.5. So this is just equal to 0.5. So the answer here 